It's back to school season, and I know you want to keep your digital workspace clean and organized. So today, I'll be sharing what's on my iPad and app must-haves for students, and I'll be doing a GoodNotes tour with my favorite features, plus how I customize GoodNotes for the most effective note-taking experience, and to keep romanticizing uni and make studying and taking notes more fun. Having a really functional digital space is so helpful. This is just my iPad home screen. Some other apps I have are how to choose your own colored pens, all the settings that I use when I take my notes, and just tons of other really cool features that GoodNotes offers. And look at that, they both have covers. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena, hi and i know school has already started guys it's been really rough this year i'm in third year and it's actually quite busy i don't know why i didn't expect it to be this busy but i think it was just like i was under the impression that as you go higher in the years it should get easier i think it's actually just supposed to be easier for me to manage just wanted to come on here really quickly and actually do a what's on my ipad tour i've never done it and i think it would be kind of cool to show you guys like my key sort of like study apps for my ipad productivity apps in general i'm also going to include a good notes setup just because i actually haven't set up my good notes for this year yet and i just want to show you all the cool features that i have on good notes and just some tips i guess and i'm going to show you how to customize your notebooks how to choose your own colored pens all the settings that i use when i take my notes and just tons of other really cool features that good notes offers let's get into exactly what is on my ipad i think having a really functional digital space is so helpful this is just my ipad home screen widgets that i have on my screen these are just two pinterest ones and all you have to do to get the widget is press and hold on the screen click add and then you can find any widgets that you want i always like using pinterest and so for Pinterest, you can just choose whichever board you like. So I actually have a desktop widget. It's the same one on my laptop. And I just do that and it changes hourly. And that's about it. This one's also one. But I love using widgets because it kind of just like revamps the iPad space and makes it look more organized. I also have a Spotify widget and a Google Calendar widget. I don't really use the Spotify one that much, but... I just have it there. And then I also have a weather app one and another tiny Pinterest one. I love these smart stacks. Continuing on from the widgets, let's get into actual apps that I really recommend. Okay, so you guys already know good notes. I'm a little bit biased because this is the only note taking app that I've really used and I've really, really enjoyed. I actually got the opportunity to try out GoodNotes 6. I will be showing that later on in the video and all the fun features. But yeah, I really recommend GoodNotes. There's so many cool things about it. I think my favorite thing is just like, it's so organized, so streamlined. Some other apps I have are my editing apps. So I use Sketchbook, Pixar, and Fonto for all my thumbnails. Those are my big three. VLLO is like a video editing app, but I don't really use it. I just have it. For school, these are my essentials. Gmail, Outlook, Canvas, because that's what my school uses. Desmos, because if you ever need to graph something. Slack, because I use that for my design team communication. And then Files, that's just an iPad app, but it's really helpful when you're saving PDFs, downloads, all of that stuff. And then of course, I also have some Google apps, Google Drive, Google, Google Maps, and Google Meet. These are just the ones that I use the most. And honestly, I don't even really use them that that much on my iPad. I actually just use my laptop instead. It's much more convenient. Of course, I have Notion. I have Notion on my iPad. I don't really use it on my iPad. It's just nice to have it here in case like I just don't want to pull up my laptop sometimes in lecture and I just want to see like my weekly schedule, blah, blah, blah. But I think it just like looks better on the laptop because it's a wider screen in general. And then on the iPad, it's kind of like a little bit congested. And then another app that I love guys is Pinterest. 
Um, I do feel like the algorithm hasn't been exactly my favorite lately. There's still some cool stuff. It's just I found that I feel like it's not really suggesting things that I would really like anymore. Those I think are my big favorites because they're all on my homepage, of course. I also have Google Calendar. I put this at the bottom of my iPad like this. I don't know what you call this, like the dash. Board. I don't know. So those are my favorites. Definitely homepage. These apps are my absolute favorites. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little iPad tour and maybe discovered some cool new apps. Personally, I've actually used GoodNotes since last year. In lecture, it was just so much more convenient this way. If we just look in my second year folder, I have my first semester and second semester. I really love the organizational structure. It's like so clean, so easy for me to find every single course that I need. I just organize them in these folders here. I'm just gonna show some of my personal favorite features. I think the most convenient one, guys, is literally the shape tool. It's so convenient, especially as someone that's drawing circuits like all day long. Basically, if I draw a circle and then hold my pencil down, it'll make a perfect circle. This can be extremely useful when drawing these sorts of circuit diagrams, as you can see here. Drawing the entire circuit diagram proves to be extremely simple and easy, especially since straight lines can also be drawn. Another feature on GoodNotes that I really like to use is the tape tool. Let's say I need to revise one of these equations, I can just tap the tape tool, select the size that I want, and then cover it up. I can then use my finger to tap to reveal it, and this is really helpful when studying. Now I want to show the really cool new feature that GoodNotes is releasing this month called Ask GoodNotes. This feature is just on the top left hand side and you can ask any questions related to whatever you're studying. So I just asked a question based on my lecture notes. It uses AI to answer your question and it's actually really cool because you can even copy this into your notebook. So I really, really love GoodNotes as you guys can tell. And I also love that they let me try so many of these new features for free, especially. And they actually have a back to school survival guide with just a complete overview of all of these cool features and more that I've talked about today. Be sure to check out GoodNotes if you haven't already and get your free download in the link in my description. Thank you again to GoodNotes for sponsoring this portion of the video. Basically, I really like customizing my notebook cover. I started doing this when I first got GoodNotes and I realized like I could actually do this and it's really fun. Basically, I just take an image and I put the course code on the top and there you have it. It's a notebook cover. So what you're going to do is you're going to find some cute pics. So I just go on Pinterest and I do this. I actually have a board already of pictures that I really like. It's called Beauty. It's sort of just pictures of like scenery or nature that I really like. All you have to do is click the three dots on the top of the picture and then download it and it'll download onto your device, which is my iPad in this case. What I use to crop the photos is the Adobe Sketchbook, but literally like any cropping tool should work. Basically just check the dimensions of your notebook that you use. I already have it from before here and I just created like based on the aspect ratio of whatever size of the notebook was and then I just created it. I'm pretty sure you can do this on Canva. Like there's so many places you can do this. You just crop it to the pixel size of the notebook you want. But I'm just going to do it on here because I already have it. And as you can see, all the pictures from previous notebooks are on here. We're just going to use this picture because I already have it on here. And then I'm just going to download these as PNGs onto my iPad. I'm going to go on to Fonto. I love this app. I've been using it ever since I started YouTube. So I'm just going to make this one ECE 345. And I'm just going to put it right here and put it in the middle. I think that looks really cute. And then I'm going to save it as a PNG. Now, go on to Good Notes. <laughs> Open your notebook. And at the top here, I'm pretty sure you can add a notebook cover. I'm going to click Add Page Before. And I'm going to do image it should pull up images and put that there and then now this will be on the first page when you go back home 
my notebook has a cover guys and look at that they both have covers and my good notes already looks way more beautiful and just i love it and now let me get into some more specifications about my good notes and i guess just more about my note taking in general so you guys want to know the details i sort of did go into detail on my note taking video but that was more so on like strategies to note taking not really like oh like this is the color i use and this is the whatever whatever i use so i'm gonna do a little bit more of that today just because we're doing all things good notes today guys like i've mentioned i use the ball pen i personally don't really like the fountain pen because it changes with how much pressure you put and i don't know i just i like it at a consistent like width essentially the pen thicknesses i use are 0.45 millimeters for just always like regular writing like all of this on the page here is that thicker one is 0.9 and the thinner one is 0.35 the pen colors i use i don't actually use black just because i think it's slightly too harsh and i've gotten used to using this color so i just really like it I imported all of these colors by the way because I'm extra like that. This one is, let me see if I even know. Okay, this is the hex code if you want to use the same colors as me. I'm just going to show it for all of them. This is the hex code for the green. This is the hex code for the pink. And this is the hex code for the blue. It's the exact same ones for the highlighters as well. So for my highlighters, it's the exact same colors here. The thickness for the highlighter I have is 4.6. I only ever use this medium one. I use green for titles, pink for subtitles, and then blue for like either a definition to something or like, for example, like these, like um, efficiency is this, blah, blah, blah. And I also use gray for like, um, emphasizing something so let's say i wanted to say like oh this is like poor efficiency and poor regulation i might put the gray one just because it's slightly less eye-catching so that the rest of the colors still stand out as titles and all of that so it's just easier for me to see essentially the colors of pens are honestly random i just have them especially for like graphing over time, I've kind of developed my own sort of color coding. I talked about this in my note taking video, but if you want to know more about technical stuff, I don't know why, but I have current as green and voltage as pink. That's just like the color conventions that I started doing in first year when I started electricity. And that was when I was doing handwritten notes and I just carried over onto the digital side as well because the pens that I use on here are like these colors correspond with ones that I also use when I make handwritten notes, which I just think makes a lot more sense in my brain because then it's just like everything's the same and like it makes sense. Anyway, I digress, but that's sort of just the overview of my good notes. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of little tour of both my iPad and my good notes and also how to customize it because it's so cool. And thank you again to Good Notes for sponsoring this video. I literally can't believe I'm saying that because it's literally like a dream sponsor, guys. And let me know what other sorts of tips or tricks you guys are interested in knowing more about and I'll be sure to do that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.